Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the Vegas tragedy, the sick Vegas tragedy that happened. Um, the shooter who has identified himself as uh, Stephen Paddock, or Stephen Paddock, um, he was 64 years old, um, sick, sadistic psychopath. And there are a lot of psychopaths out there that have squeaky clean records before they snap or before they commit their first crime. And he had not had a criminal record except a minor citation. And he has purchased some farms in the past. He has a hunt, had a hunter's license, a private pilot's license. Um, it's all, according to various news sources, I read the CNN article, the ABC News article, and the CBS article. And he was on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, and the cops believed that he committed suicide before the cops could get it to his hotel room. He was shooting across the street at a Jason Aldean concert. According to the CNN article, the latest uh, death toll is 58 um, sad situation, very sad situation, and then 515 have been reported wounded. God, I'm praying for the victims' families, praying for the wounded victims that they heal, and pray for the deceased victims' families. It's just a sick situation. And um, more than likely, I would say he's a psychopath. Some psychopathic factors are our genetic summer environment it doesn't excuse a psychopath when they commit crimes I firmly believe that it can be um, overcame just because statistics show that 85% of people who are diagnosed as psychopaths or sociopaths don't go on to harm a fly but the reason I believe that he's a psychopath due to genetics is because his father um, was a notorious bank robber and he at one point was on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list so this is why I believe the shooter was a psychopath so Sad situation, prayers for Las Vegas. Trump was right. This attack was just, you know, pure evil. And Mike Pence, the vice president, calls it senseless violence, and he's right. So, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.